Best bit for a Monday and I think it's important that when you work with someone for such a long time yeah. that you still discover things about them that you never knew. Are you talking about me? Yeah. What have I done this time? Well, I tell you what, I'll never look at the cutlery drawer quite <laughs> <laughs> in the same way ever again. <laughs> yes. Neither will I. <laughs> that came as a surprise to me equally. A very tasty recipe and a surprising moment from <laughs> Phil Vickery. <laughs> have a little taste, what you think? Yeah, I will. Now, that one, um, again, is okay. just very, very simple and... It's like all vegetarian food, I suppose. Are you diving in? You let I will, yes. I'll let you make your... Um, you you just let the flavours work for themselves. Oh. Let's move out of the way. Okay. So that's the base. Now, they, this will... Is there a little fork up there? It's well up your end up there. Oh, it? sorry. It's the first thing. Who put that there? <laughs> By me, I had no idea. <laughs> the cutlery drawer. <laughs> <laughs> Right, just want me to clever say, girl. Um, <laughs> I do add paprika, but you only add paprika once the uh, vegetables have been sauteed. Never add it to oil. Not listen to me, are you? because it burns. But there we are. Okay. Use a fork. Use a fork. I don't worry about that. <laughs> so that's the base. I'm not going to touch those forks. <laughs> <laughs> well, the best bit for today was an unexpected bit, an unexpected guest who then became our showbiz reporter. Of a sort. Of a sort. I mean, a pretty useless one, chucking in odd bits of it. He didn't even have anything on his card. No, he had an empty card, but just before it came out of the break, Jack Whitehall said, I just, I just want a card of some sort, so he had an empty card. What he had done, of course, um, is that he had vandalised the set. Yeah! He, he accused you of not liking food that you loved. How very dare you. And uh, then Ryland went to all the trouble to bring in a mug of carbonara, which ended up in that box. Well, Ryland and him, to be fair, were like a couple of kids. It was like... Rylan was having a play date on the sofa with his mate. Um, but much fun. Is it still in there? I think. The wonders of television. I've got a feeling our crew have been working very, very hard. Ah, that's better. And there it is. It's, nice we have and to, clean. Just so you know, we, the only way the tissues will fit into this box is if it's crammed in, which is why they're <laughs> all squidged down. But there was actually carbonara all over this lid and they managed to get that off as well. So well, well done, team. Well done. What's your secret? What do you use? Oh, do you want a tissue? <laughs> oh! It's a pretty woman. It's pretty woman. <sighs> Oh, it was Pretty Woman! Skip it's the movie! It's at me! That was with a diamond necklace, not with a tissue! <laughs> One thing we wanted to talk to you about, there's never enough time, I wanted to talk to you about, there's a story in today's newspapers, a passenger plane flying near the Shard had a very near miss with a drone as it approached Heathrow Airport. Increasing danger to aeroplanes. I agree. While the risk is small, currently it is increasing. These devices are relatively inexpensive, easy to get, and as the numbers increase, the probability of an eventual aircraft collision increases. We already know what a small bird can do to disable, mm. disable an airplane. It's not uh, known exactly what damage a collision with a drone with its hard parts like motors and batteries would do, but it certainly might be able to damage a jet engine enough to prevent it from being able to produce thrust. So if you were still the captain of an airliner, would that d occupy a part of your head and think, you know, actually, I, I, this is a concern, I would be worried about this? Yes, and they're also very difficult to detect. Uh, even during the day, at night, unless they have well-lit surfaces, it's going to be difficult to see them. And there currently is no technology that would allow pilots to detect them other than a visual search. OK, thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you very much. Thank Great you. speaking thank you. with you. Best bit for today. Mm -hmm. Do you want to see more from our best bits? Well, you're in luck. Simply click here. And if you don't want to miss out, then make sure you click subscribe.